Hello and welcome to WiseLink Academy. For this class, we'll look at how to produce um, an isometric projection that you are seeing at the right hand side of the screen. So, when it comes to isometric projection, we usually said your first task is to what? Draw out your isometric axis, right? So, I'll take my T square. In this manner, I'll draw a horizontal line this way, and hence I'll take a point. Um, let me pick this point here, right? I'll draw a vertical line upward, right? So I'll take my T square in this manner to draw out an inclined 30 degrees this way. Similarly, I'll take my T square this way. I'll also draw an inclined 30 degree to the left hand side. So I have this. This will refers to as isometric axis, right? When you are done with this, check out the figure. For the figure there, I'm having a length, breadth, and height. So how do I possibly get my entire length, breadth, and height from the figure? By the way, let me make this one more thicker so you can see what I'm actually doing. So I have this. Now, my entire length there is given to be 90, as you can see my arrow indicating. So from here to here is what there is a 90. So I have this. Next up, my entire width there is 50. So the width there is 50. So here to here is 50. Right, my entire height there is given as 30. So 30 is the entire height there. So from here to here is 30. So I will use this length, breadth, and height to produce out a box to which that figure is got from. Right? So my tax now I'll take my T square, um, take a vertical line upward. I'll come to this point here, take vertical line upward. Now slant it this way around. I'll connect this with this. Similarly, I'll connect this part here with this. Um, I'll take this part to inward the way I did this in. So I'll use uh, my final this point here. I'll connect it with this point. So I have this. So it's from this box. Um, this box, that figure you are seeing, is being God's form, right? Let's now start producing out the figure. I'll start with this point here. From here, observe that here is ticking. So the entire length here is ticking. So I'll ticking the entire length here. Of course, it's ticking. I'll ticking it. Um, next up, there's a 10 meter inward, 10 centimeter. So measure 10 inward and ticking it. Right, this is 10 inward. I'll take in it next up. I will uh, measure a distance of 15 downward. So from here to here is 15. Right, so I'll take my T square this way. Right, I'll draw the point downward this way. Right, such that I will ensure that I take in it. Okay, before then, let me take this one up to it. So I'll take this one to this point with a thick line. As you can see, next up, um, I will ensure that I'm taking it to this part here. As you can see, what I'm having um, in the diagram below. So I have this. Next up, I will take this part here. I'll take it up to this part. So I have this. So I have what you're seeing. Um, my very next task here is that I haven't gotten that part here. Next task is to close this part together. So I'll close here to here and I'll close here to here together. Right? So um, next task now is that I will come down to this point here. I'll measure 10 upward. Right? This point here. I'll measure 10 upward. So here to here is 10 and it's ticking. So I will ticking it to this point, right? 
Similarly, I'll take that point inward a little bit inward such that I will measure a distance of 15. As you can see the measurement. So 15. So here to here is 15. And I'll thicken it because it's thickening. So I have the distance of 15. By the way, I'll take this point to touch this one here. Right? So at that point, I can easily close them up. Close this part, this part here. Up this way. So I have this um, particular diagram here in front of you. All right. Uh, my next task now is that at this point, what was your next procedure? My next task is to take each point in. Observe what I want to do. I'll take this man inward, as you can see. Right. Similarly, I'll take this one here too. Uh, before then, before then, let me close this part here. Close this part this way. So I have this. Right. So I have this. Um, my next task now is that observe closely. Um, I will have to take a point in. So I'll take this man here inward first. Right. So I'll take that man inward first. So after taking the man inward, I will take my T square. By the way, I'll, at this point here, I'll close it to this. Alright, so, so I have this. As you can see, what I'm having as the right hand side of the screen. So um, I'm at this point here. Alright, at this point, what do you think is next? I will get out one kind of figure here, yeah, the figure here. Yeah. So I'll try to get the figure out. So how did you possibly do that one? Observe that um, I'll measure the distance of 15 and 30 inward. Measure the distance of 15 from here to here is 15 and also from here to here is 30. So distance of 15 and 30. So I'll take this 15 in first, All right? Then I'll consider the 30 also inward. So I have this, all right, 15 and 30 first. When you are done with this, what do you think is next? Uh, my next task is to know where to start um, the figure form. Um, very first thing is that if I observe closely, right, I'll measure a 10 inward here, right? So I'll measure 10 inward first. This is my first 10. I'll measure that 10 again. This is my second 10 here. Right? So um, I'll take that 10, this first point of 10, um, to this line, the thick line. You can see this other one too in the thick line to this point here. So I have this. So next up, I can now use my meter row to close this and to close this one here so um next up i'll use my t square to draw this part downward so this is what we are having at the right hand side of the screen we found this class helpful do it to like hit the subscription button subscribe to my channel and welcome to Wise Link Academy. See you in our next class.